May we meet you, sir? Oh, shalom. My name is David Day. Dr. David Day. Yes. All right. Um, you've got some quite interesting things to tell us about uh, uh, the Igbo culture and customs. But uh, interestingly, you are not Igbo. Yeah. May we have an idea of your background? Well, I'm from London. I'm British, but my blood is Gaelic, Celtic, Irish, and Israelite Hebrew blood. So basically, I'm a Hebrew person with a British passport. But I'm also an Igbo file, meaning to say I love Igbo culture, and there's a reason for that. All right. Now we know your reasons for reason appreciating Igbo culture. I came here 22 years ago. I was a normal white man. I found myself by going to an Igbo village being treated like a son of the soul, being treated with hospitality and love. And when I was sick, a village woman came to see me. She prayed to God and shook like I was her son. I never knew love like that. I never knew hospitality like that. I became a lover of Hebrews. I prayed to God, God, give me experience. Give me things that I can do and I will come back here and serve this nation. So I was separated by God and I was given a new lease of life by the Igbo nation, by their kindness and love. Okay, now that made you to come closer to study the culture of Igbo. And uh, interestingly, some of our people, because I'm an Igbo, they are saying that our culture is bad, that we should change the ways we do things and embrace a new culture, especially the one that uh, is being propagated under Christianity. And I want to ask you, do you really think Igbo culture is bad, anything is wrong with him, and that we should dump it from, you know, the Christian values as uh, is being propagated. I think it's the best culture in the world. I've experienced the culture. I've spent time with people. I've studied Igbos all over the world. I've trained Igbos over generations. I have studied the history, and I'm telling you unequivocally, there's no one like Igbos. Love your culture. Try to have a revival. We need to bring back some of the richness of the original culture because I believe uh, there's what we call in psychology dissonance in our people. Dissonance. dissonance means you have an imbalance in your mind because you're not satisfied and contented with your own background. You've now been brainwashed that cultures from elsewhere, from abroad, are better. In particular, the white colonialists have infected the culture here and changed it to the point where people are, let me use this word, they're almost lost and they have to be found again. And being and found... You mean the, the people are near, almost lost yes. in terms of their disconnection with their culture and background? Exactly. That's the point. You see, if you go back to Igbo culture, and I've done my studies, there it was uh, values based upon caring for others, having justice, truth, democracy. You had a council of elders in each village. They deliberated on things. Sometimes they argued, but they always came to generally a just position. But that was scattered and ruined by the British colonialists because they couldn't rule in an exploitative way Igbo land. When, when they are together. Yes, they, they couldn't they, they, they couldn't actually penetrate no. the people they couldn't. You know, with their cohesion and no. with, with the, 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 the republicanism that exactly. they had. Yes, exactly. everybody's opinion mattered. Exactly. That beautiful culture was now scattered and destroyed by corruption which came from warrant chiefs. These warrant chiefs, and many of the Ezi lines and chiefs, relate back originally. To the British authorities. Yes, to the, the British the, the authorities. Their loyalty was shifted from the people exactly. to the, the British authorities that appointed exactly. them, who actually used them for their own ends. Exactly, that's and, the point. And then how do we get our people to know this? And now, what is the role that Christianity is playing in sustaining this is a very big problem. If you read ancient uh, 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 records, historical records of the early colonialists, you will see people like Lugard used missionaries and deliberately brought missionaries in order to win the hearts and minds of Igbos over. Because they believe if you can make them believe their original culture is faulty, you now have a slave. They will now be dependent on you. So it was a deliberate strategy. So everything I, is about the mind. Yes. So the mind and then that will make you reject who you are. And uh, because you are no longer satisfied with who you are, 
then the possibility of introducing a new identity, a new identity that actually fits into the mold of the colonialist, you know, yes. can now emerge. Yes. yes. See, the British were expert at this. They they followed the Roman Empire, and they used these tactics of picking one or two people, calling them British, giving them awards from Britain, now making them feel that they are elite, they are ahead of their people, and now using them to control their people. So it was a mind game. It was mental slavery. And I, I, there's historical proof of this. I was reading an ancient book uh, in the Anubu library a while back and they deliberately targeted certain groups in Ibu land who had knowledge, like the Arochukwu. The Arochukwu nation, some people think negatively of them, but no one can doubt they had superior knowledge. And they were killed by the British. They were wiped out. There was all kinds... Yes, because they were asked, for, there was that possibility of uh, yes. you know, standing against them intellectual. Yes, yes. Okay, now, now briefly, what, what do you think about uh, the concept of uh, God, uh, especially as it is found and expressed in Igbo culture, Chuku Okike. Is, it, 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 does it, is, this, is, is there any, unis, any unity you know, between that and the God as we know it, and maybe as Christianity uh, uh, professes it? I think the, the, the notion of the Supreme God, Chuku Okike Abiyama, is superior to their Christian God, who was changed, who was Europeanized. Let me give you an example. The original Israelites, Yeshua, the Messiah, were black. The historical evidence is clear. So why now come here with a white Jesus, with pictures of Jesus, this is your God, this is, uh, so God is a white God. It was a lie. Chukwu Abiyama means, in my mind, I'm a Hebrew, it means I'm aligned to people from here because they have that sacred knowledge that there's one supreme God, Chukwu Abiyama, the God of Abraham, the God of Abraham. So, yes, we should have a revival because where people believe in their original culture, when they have their original values, let me give you an example. So much of, um, excuse my evil, Umenala, Omenala, yes. Omenala. So much of it is based upon the Torah. It's very sound principles. You must not change the boundaries of someone's land or you'll be cursed. Uh, if if, uh, if, if uh, a man dies, the brother should look after the wife. Circumcision, so many things. But the principles of how you look after the community in Omenala, how you find justice, they're based upon ancient values which come from Hebrew culture. So for me, the Igbos are more closer in their original culture to the true way of the Bible than Christians. So it was spoiled. And even to this day, many people are saying, we have to go abroad. You, and let me give you an example. Two weeks ago, I went to Onicha. I walked into a, a brewery factory. The place was obsolete. All millions of dollars. The manager of the factory said, no, we used to have a white manager. Now he's dead, nothing is happening. So people don't even believe in themselves. I have some evil friends who are going to go to that factory, fix the machinery, not white people. So we can, when we, do, I'm just giving you an example of this lack of belief in yourself that stops progress. progress. It stops progress. So Francis and I, one of your radio commentators, we run programs. And in those programs, we teach self-confidence, identity, and you should rise above. Africa will rise, but Igbos are going to be the head of everyone else. So oh, that I like, I like that, uh, and then we are going to end it on uh, this very first. Thank you.